This Saturday is Veterans Day, a day to honor all the men and women who have served in our armed forces. We'd like to introduce you to a veteran whose life in flying has surpassed his loftiest hopes and brought him unimaginable hardships. Air Force General Chuck Boyd spent years in a North Vietnamese prison camp, but that doesn't define him. Yeah, I was, uh, I was on my 105th mission, uh, flying the 105, the thud. My 88th over North Vietnam, I'd flown some, I was closing in on the 100, so I didn't quite make that. So I, at the top of my pop, right there rolling in, and I take two big hits from AAA. Cockpit's got smoke in it. I look in my little mirror, and the whole ass end of the airplane is on fire. And the airplane just started to go over into a roll inverted. And I, well, if I don't get out of this thing, I'm going to die anyway. So I'll give it a try. And uh, so I pulled the handles. And so I was up over 600 knots. When I was on the ground, I was in the outskirts of Hanoi, and there was no place to go. I went down to large numbers of people, and uh, most of them had AK-47s. Chuck Boyd spent seven years in a North Vietnamese prison camp, much of it in solitary confinement. He was tortured. He still suffers from that, and yet... I am an enormously fortunate man. Most fortunate, indeed. How many people do you know in your life that get to do exactly what they want to do? At age seven, Boyd badgered his father into letting him take a flight in a J-3 Cub. In that 15-minute ride in that Cub was maybe the most significant 15 minutes of my life because when I was finished with that, I was determined I was going to fly. I wanted to fly. Well, he flew just about everything in the Air Force, from jet fighters to the B-1, and he became the only former POW to become a four-star general. Now in retirement, his flying has come full circle. Back to a super legend cub, he flies from his Virginia farm. Got this little hanger, nice little hanger. Um, I can come out at a whim. Uh, I've got an urge to fly. I can just, in five minutes from my bedroom, I can be out here, get this airplane out, crank it up, let the engine warm up a little bit, take off. You know, it's an early morning airplane. It's an early evening airplane. This is, uh, this is has a level of satisfaction that uh, is very hard for me to put in words. It's, um, well, it's meaningful. But the airplane that means the most to him is his T-34 in Air Force colors. A friend of mine, an old military friend, said that he knew I was looking for the right airplane. He said, why don't you remember you flew the T-34 and, uh, and there's some of those available in the civilian sector? Yes. And I said, well, yeah. And then it just, uh, the light came on. It's just been a, a wonderful part of my life ever since. This is a natural airplane. I mean, this is, I think, uh, I think old Walter Beach was a genius. Uh, he built a perfect airplane. He loves flying formation. There's just, there's just something about caressing your body in harmony with another airplane. It, just, it, it pleases me. It has a... There's sort of a sensual quality It's an aesthetic, it. yeah, that's right. I mean, the symmetry and aesthetics. And, and I'm just going to keep on getting up every morning, and uh, if I feel like flying today, I'm going to fly today. And I fly three, maybe four times a week. I'm going to just keep on doing that as long as my health holds, as long as I can. And when I can't, well, I'll quit. But I'll know when it's time to quit and nobody else will. Um, negative thoughts are a big waste of time. And I think that's, uh, you can spend, 
your time in regrets. And that gets you absolutely nowhere. The very first, the, the first few weeks, I think, when I was captured, I kept going over in my mind, you know, if I, I jink to the left, if I jink to the right. If, now, and then I, it, it occurred to me, this is stupid. Um, wasting your time. You can't redo that. So here's where we are. Let's figure out how we can survive within these circumstances. And I guess that's pretty much, uh, I've fallen down, I've been knocked down in, in a variety of ways. But I always get back up and, and say, brush myself off and <laughs> let's keep going, let's keep going forward. Dave Hirschman and our Morningstar produced that story. And what a remarkable man and great le life lessons that he talks about there. Amazing. I mean, seven years in a prison camp, and yeah. it sounds like he got his head on pr straight pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. And our enduring thanks to all who have served the military, including General Chuck Boyd. Absolutely.